Hello, Abs is here, and welcome to Slay the Princess, the pristine cut. Apparently adds a lot more content to the game than the original, and this is a Choice of Matters game. So you know <laughs> we are going to do just fine. Are we going to slay the princess or not? Let's find out. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Why is there a princess in the basement? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, not too much riding on this then. Oh, we get options. So what am I going to do? Am I going to explore the end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you ever considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Oh, we have more than a couple of options. Whoa, 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 okay. Killing a princess, we've read that one. Can't someone else do it? No, 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 no. We are the Prince Charming, we're gonna have to do it. Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you ever considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? What, are we depressed? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet. I've always wanted to start off a monarch <laughs> Vida la revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Silently continue to the cabin. Ooh. Okay, our sil silent silent we're silently moved towards the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. This looks so beautiful though, huh? I like this. A warning before you go any further. What is it? She will lie, she will cheat and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Why should I believe a word you're this, saying? Right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Oh, we actually hear our character. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> our own main character doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed into the cabin. Everyone's already at odds with each other. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> Alright, let's proceed into the cabin. What's the worst that could happen? The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Oh. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Hey, I like what you the did blade there. is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. <laughs> oh, we can take the blade or we can enter the basement. Oh, we've instantly already got a choice. Ah, oh, <laughs> what? We're getting straight into this. But I don't know. I need context. I, I want to talk to her first. Enter the basement or take the blade. I'll take the blade as a precaution just in case. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. <laughs> yes, it would. Unless I'm going to buy her neck or something. Enter the basement. Oh! Our hand is also changed. It's now got the knife in it. Enter the basement. Oh! <laughs> the door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. Mm. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. Ugh. The princess really lives here. Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. No, we need to her talk voice to uh... carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. No, she sounds British. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. What, what has she done wrong, though? I don't... Why is the narrator instantly like, Hey, <laughs> you've got to kill this lady. Hi, just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill <laughs> Oh, yeah. Just tell her your intentions as you're coming down the stairs. <laughs> Continue down the stairs. Ooh. 
Hey, I'm just checking in. Oh, what? Like it's your nine to five? Just seeing your boss? I don't think it is, is it? Uh, let's go with... <laughs> I'm gonna cure it. No, I can't say this. I I'm just gonna go high. No, no. I I instinctively, I want to say this. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Oh, you want to look Rachel, at me? You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. Oh. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Oh, she's she so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. Yeah, don't really. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it? And then we can chat. She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Oh, the bombastic side eye, though. Don't you dare. Oh, I got the Norea against me. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming. Of yes, us. yes, you tell him, voice of the hero. Oh, drop it or tighten your grip. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna tighten my grip for now. You ignore the trembling in your hands. To tighten your grip on the blade. A face. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Is that a threat? You step forward. <laughs> are you afraid of me? Tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. <laughs> so, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Stop trying to speak into my ear! <laughs> I've got like the good and the bad next to me. They instantly give you the option to slay the princess, but why has she only got one hand chained up? Is she Was she able to get out? What if she isn't bluffing? What happens if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? I'm sorry, but can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade entirely or slay the princess. <laughs> no, can we just talk for a moment? You're so close. Don't give up. Shut up. Come this far. Shut up. No, this is a good idea. Maybe we can de-escalate things. Hmm. Oh, threatened, are we? You poor thing. Drop the knife, and of course we can talk. <laughs> no, I'm not dropping the blade. I'm not dropping the blade, just in case of say... Uh, it's, and then it pops up again to slay the... No, drop the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Oh, come on. We can meet a middle of ground, surely. Fine, then. I guess we're at an impasse. Squint at the princess while holding on to the blade. What's that gonna do? <laughs> Fine. I guess we are. Alright, I'll, I'll stand here all day. Everything. Just slay her already. Hey, about you shush your mush. I'm or trying to make up my mind. Do something. Oh, so you have to... Ooh. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Alright, I'm gonna drop the blade then. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Oh no, please don't tell me I made the bad decision. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. Yep. We'll be fine. Hopefully. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to How do you know that? Have you spoken to her then beforehand? So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Relationship? What? You want me to marry you? Yeah, it's pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? 
<laughs> How long have you been down here? How would I get uh, you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about it? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked enough. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're going on to me. I don't mind if you are. Mm, cherry flavored. Want a taste? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Oh, okay. all right, all right, all right, all right. There goes his lover's uh, story out of this. I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. Ooh, no, let me ask her the question if she knows. Don't just tell her that. What? That's cute. Do you believe that? Do you think I'm some sort of <laughs> monster? I don't know. That's why I'm coming to that if conclusion. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? Um. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> look at that face. That's evil. That is evil. Oh, hold on. i got to move the webcam again. Chat, would you... Do you trust this face? I don't trust this face. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. I was hoping you would tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. No, and if I'm uh, being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Oh. If she is evil, maybe we can fix her. <laughs> we go this Thanks one. for the vote of confidence. Well, I've only just met you as well, the narrator, so what just... What bad reasons, though? If they had good reasons for thinking I was dangerous, wouldn't they have shared them with you? I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to leave. Oh, I'm, I don't know. I don't trust her. I'm going to kill everyone. Day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. No, they didn't. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. Oh. She has a point. Mm. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. Wow, we have the hero even talking to us as well. So... I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But what's the truth? Give me the truth, lady! But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Well, I've even got to stab you or not! I spent one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. <laughs> no, it isn't. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? I don't She's know! Wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. Mm -hmm. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch no less. Oh, yeah, but I don't, this, would it actually end the world? I don't know. <laughs> How long have you been down here? What's your name? Alberto. What's your name? Alberto. Uh, how would I get you out of here? No, no, no. What's your name? Uh, is she willing to discuss that? She hesitates before answering. Oh. You can address me as your royal highness. Excuse me? Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. Ah, uh, we might as well just kill her then. <laughs> how long have you been down here then? At least give me something to go off. Too long. She's being so vague. How would I get you out of here then? You can't. Don't bother. Hey, I weren't talking to you, was I? I'm Narrator. guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Maybe we gotta use the well, knife? We can always put that knife to good use. <laughs> Don't look at me like that! Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. 
Aww. she isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She we gotta is. be here. I'm sure of it. Uh, you shut up, shut up. Stop being on my ear. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? No, not really. <laughs> you know why you're here. I know! Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. I'm going to keep you locked away. Oh, locked away down here. At least for a bit. Oh, hold on. Oh, we can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. Or we can slay the princess straight away. I'm going to keep her locked for a moment. That seems like a pretty good compromise. We got to be the voice Even of reason her here. is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. How will she? One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. <laughs> and if you don't... What are you going to do about it, huh? You're locked up. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. <laughs> don't look at me with them crazy eyes! You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Well, this what I'm trying to gather all the information. <laughs> I've made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement for now. And why do I have weird hands? Because this represents my hand. Are we like a beast or something? Have we ever heard of a nail clipper? God damn! I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. Well, I'm neutral. chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. Yes. We are the hero of this story. You're making a mistake. What? Oh, you want me to... You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. Oh, she ain't gonna send me in the back, is it she? It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Oh, so she has got a bit of sass. Slip these chains. She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? <laughs> I don't think she's bluffing. <laughs> no, I don't Either way, it. she dropped her mask, didn't she? Mm -hmm. You can still turn around and finish the job. God damn it. Got to flick him off my shoulder. No, we're sticking to the plan and I'm locking her down here. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I've already committed to not slaying her. No, 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 no. I'm a man with a plan, and I am going down that road. I am locking in. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. Well, come do it yourself, but... Narrator, huh? Sending you me... Close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. We still got the blade, yes? Okay. Okay. We can make this work. What's next? What's the you plan? settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off. Your eyes are heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. No! I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Hello? It's not like this little door will hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Um, hello? Sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something <laughs> out of a nightmare. <laughs> oh no, what have we As done? she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. La 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 la! <laughs> Don't go me! I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. Me! Don't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. We've just had you Thanksgiving. Know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I blame the narrator. That's why he sent me down here. Threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. Ignore her and go to sleep! <laughs> you nutter! Why would you fall asleep with her on knocking on the door like that? So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess, you're a monster. I can be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to fire me with freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. Oh, I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt. 
you put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. It's not broken and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? I don't know! Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. Oh! You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. Oh, are we still asleep somehow then? It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin. Unable to do anything but no. witness her approach. Oh, no! Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Oh. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? No, you. No, no, we're on a she schedule. She steps closer. One silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Why are you shutting them down? I need them! Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. I'm a fish. <laughs> it's a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. I don't think we would have. Your lungs stop drawing in breath and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. Seconds? I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end. Don't we? No! It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. No way. Is it just ending? goes dark, and you die. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, chapter two, The Nightmare. What? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. What? And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. It's now repeating itself? So now we can have a different choice. See, I tried to give her the benefit of the doubt and sh This is why you never trust anyone. <laughs> this is why you never trust anyone. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this already happened? Okay, no. But I died. What am I going to do here? She's going to kill me again. Proceed to the cabin, turn around and leave? <laughs> yeah, stop this, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Ooh. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu? No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Hmm. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Oh, so the hero remembers, but the Shh. narrator doesn't. What if he hears us? Excuse me? That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. <laughs> I think you'll find yourselves very hard-pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Yes, we do, yes. To want to explore, this is more than deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing is literally just happening again. Let's just proceed to the cabin, then. And we'll try the other option. A warning before you go any further. Yes. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Mm -hmm. Don't believe a word she says. <laughs> okay. I don't think lying and cheating is her thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least, she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. Yeah, she was. I like how the Doesn't hero matter. remembers, though. Don't trust anyone. Well, don't... That's, that's what normally my motto is. I normally don't trust anyone to begin with it anyway. But we're going to proceed to the cabin. We're going to slay her this time. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the walls almost featureless. Oh, it's different. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. 
Oh? A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. No, but there's been a set of changes. Oh, there's a shadow there as well. There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? Oh. oh. I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Oh. Your task awaits, <laughs> and only you can do it. Why me? But there's shadows on outside of the cabin, so are they like the deaths that we have had? Oh, approach the mirror, take the blade, enter the basement. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Yeah, let me approach the mirror because that is something different you in this cabin. wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Uh, I don't trust what mirrors. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Does the narrator not see the changes then? Wipe the mirror clean. Be careful not to crack it. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. Ugh, and that's my hand! Ridiculous you look right now. That's my hand! Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Hmm. We do need to get a pedicure. God damn! Oh, the whole cabin is different than I remember. Let's take the blade now this time. Reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. So oh, I'm some sort of beast then. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Oh. Is it going to be enough though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? <laughs> The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. I'm gonna blow up the cabin. You're of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. That is very American. Yes, we are Those just gonna blow the cabin. Who knows he's sending us to our death. We don't know that. We don't know that yet. Because we can change the outcome. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps, suspended in darkness. Oh? More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. What is going on? The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Oh, whoa. A cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. No, she remembers! Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Mm hmm Oh no, the fact that she remembers as well. How hard is it to throw a knife? What do you think we are, Robin Hood? We ain't gonna be throwing no knife, especially into the abyss that is the darkness down here. I'm going to talk to her. No, we ain't. <laughs> no, we ain't. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Step off into the void between the stairs. Continue down the stairs in silence, yes. But now, anyway. your way to the bottom of the stairs. See how this plays out. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. <laughs> what are we going to do then? Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, because the, 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 the... No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Well, it isn't you either, is it? Because you want Excuse me to come and just keep killing her. I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're mm -hmm. the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. <laughs> you tell him. 
we're going to die down here. Oh, shut up. I don't want to die again. We're not going to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Well, you know where I'm going to go. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. No! <laughs> go back the way you came. Do nothing. Go left or right. I'm going left. You know I'm left-handed. I am going left. The cobblestone may be a false sense of, like, choice there because it wants you to go down that way because of the paths going that way, but I'm going to be going left. You turn to the left. Yes, I do. A faintly outlined path lies before you. Mm hmm There you are. Oh, no. I told you I was going <laughs> no. to find you. No, how did she know? As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Not again. Your arms quickly follow. This oh. is it. Isn't it? Well, there's something we gotta do, surely. Glad you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. Mm. What there happened to your face? to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What that looks like do? she's got a mask on. Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. You mean she isn't supposed to be like this? I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Oh. As your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Uh. Heart. Lungs. No. Not liver. again! <laughs> Not again! Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes <sighs> shoot back open. Nerves. What are you doing? <sighs> I'm working! Shut do you up. want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more oh. as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Yeah, 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 help, help, help! Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? Shut up, then get on with it, then! You have seconds left. Well, get on with it, do yes, it! Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Again, nerves. your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Lungs. Liver. You can't decide what you want nerves. to do, can you? Oh, no, we're kind of a dilemma at the moment. Standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. <laughs> she isn't attacking us. Why? She's the toying with us. It doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. But is that actually going to help though? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't you finish me off? What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. You know you're a lunatic. You know that, right? Oh, that's just gonna work, isn't it? <laughs> if you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole shutting down the organs situation? How about I just kill you instead? Well, we have so many options. We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends even. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try and kill you, so do your worst. Toss the blade and remain w with your nightmare. Okay, let's get out of here together. Leave together. Fine. You win. I'll let you leave. Run or slay the princess. Oh my. Wow. 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 They give us so many different options to go with. Um. Um. Uh, I'm not going to call her a lunatic. I don't think that's going to work. Um. What happened after you killed me last time? I don't think she's going to answer that issue. What good am I to you alive? Um, we don't have to be enemies. Look at that. You're suggesting exactly what I want. Somebody's ahead of the curve. Yeah, I learned from my first time around. <laughs> I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Oh. Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here. And now you're here too. I don't uh -huh. think I can leave without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. You want to torment millions of creatures? Why won't you finish me off? If you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you just try to be nice to me, huh? And if I let you out, what then? Do we go our separate ways? Oh. 
If you want, yeah, yeah. All right. How about you turn off this whole organ shutting down situation first? I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Oh, that's what you just naturally do to people. All right. Um. Um. <laughs> um. Um. Fine, you win. Let's slay her. Let's try. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. Oh? She doesn't even move oh. as the blade sinks into her heart. So she can't be killed? We did it. We actually did it. <laughs> you actually went for it. Oh, oh no. The... <laughs> I can no. be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Can she? We've already seen how she can change. Heart, lungs. Yeah, you, you concentrate on trying to keep our body alive. You're not getting those stairs fast. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. What? She falls to the ground, unmoving. Oh. Oh. I, I can stop now, can't I? Oh. I can. But are we no, going to be the gone. one now trapped you in the basement? Out of here. Right. But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? And now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. Oh, no. <laughs> it means that you're stuck here. Forever. Bro, oh, are you serious? No. Are you oh, serious? No, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. <laughs> Time passes. <laughs> Forever's gonna end eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. So why'd you send me down here then? Sick. You it disgust me, narrator. Have to be forever, though. Does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. What? Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Excuse Won't me. We be dead. I guess that hasn't stopped us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Sacrifice one for millions? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. You're right. I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Mm. Especially yours. No, you would have sent me down why? into this basement. What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. Mm. Mm. Not like it matters if I die, I'll just come back again. But I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys, what more do I need? Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die of dehydration before forever happens? That's very true. Are you stuck here with us or capable of going other places? Take the blade from her body. Let me just wait it out a little bit. Let's More see. time passes. You're still here. Because we're definitely not human. We're a beast. Um. I'm not a creature of biology. Let's see. That's a grim thought, isn't it? <laughs> but I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. Yeah, but do I want to be doing that? Have a way out? Can't we explore a little bit? Take the blade from her body. We don't really have too many choices, do we? All right, I'm just going to take the blade. You remove the blade from the princess's body. What exactly are you planning on doing with it? I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it for a minute. <laughs> Throw the blade into the void or slay yourself. I am kind of curious. Ah, uh, that's the La Vista, baby. I don't like this, but I suppose there's not much I can do to stop you. Is F's there? in the chat. You raise oh. the blade to your neck and slit your carotid artery. Oh! Oh! We, we went like that! Chapter 3, The Rat. You're on a path in the wood. Shit. 
This really doesn't end, does it? We're alive again. It doesn't matter if we kill her. It doesn't matter if she kills us. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. Well, we got to find the yes. source then. So it does. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if we got the voice of cold now. We do what she asked us to last time. What if we just let her leave? Okay, so you've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So you probably already know all about her and all about the threat she poses to the world. Oh, not really! Let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. Mm. Oh, threatening us with death, are we? And why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. Ah, so the voice of All cold is death. Is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty warnings again. Oh. Again. This place feels a bit different, though, doesn't it? Yes. I don't even know what I'd call it, but it's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. No, it's the one out of the Lord of the Rings. There's going to be loads of spiders in here. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already started to end. But no, 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 maybe not. Her influence? Is she an I influencer? I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job, all right? Well, if you were just open and not so much all like riddles and stuff, we would be all right. Are you the same narrator? We, oh, we met on the other loops. You were quick to accept that you've been here before. Yeah, because last time he was kind of like, what are you on about? We've killed her and been killed by her. And neither of those things have gone well for us if we're going to fall through this loop forever eventually we're going to have to let her out we might as well do it now explore what happens if we don't go to the cabin that's another option proceed to the cabin oh there's something else we haven't tried turn around and leave i'm begging you don't do this you're going to damn everything to oblivion you have to do something you can't just no sorry no I, I don't get paid enough i don't think we're even getting paid for this Walking away despite your protestations. There's got to be a crack in this world somewhere. If he's looking in at us, there has to be a way out. Oh. Ugh, fine. You walk down the path away from the cabin. I hope for all our sakes that you change your mind before it's too late. Oh, this is interesting. So the narrator could have Wait, put us in this world and just right. toying Can with us. Can you her. still hear me? Everything is getting fuzzy. Oh. Oh, he's what, left. What's going on? Where are we? Oh, no, that's our influence, isn't it? I don't know. But it feels like... home. Uh, it's um, finally happened, hasn't it? We finally cracked. I don't think we have. <laughs> We're in strands of hair. The world around you is unwound. Its physical matter replaced by a texture of nothingness. It is quiet. There is a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undutation pulses louder as something other comes close. Ugh! Ugh! Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. How many people were out in this place? Resistance, fingers, drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration, this vessel is full of you. I need something empty I can crawl inside of. I need something shaped like me. Um, <laughs> this is a nightmare. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Embrace the thoughts constricting you. No, I ain't embracing these hands. No, thank you. Wake up. It's not. <laughs> Chapter one, the hero and the princess. We've, oh, we've gone back to You're the beginning. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. So we've reset the entire loop? Just by doing that? 
No, you can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard or the right R I on your con oh R one sorry. <laughs> your control. It made more sense after I see the controller bit. But this is where I'm going to be leaving this part here. This game is phenomenal, and we've only touched a tinsy tiny little bit of it. And we're going to continue this on in the next video. So as always, if you do have any horror game suggestions, then please do let me know. But I will see you in the next video. Bye 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 bye.